it's, it's just things that we all of us take for granted. Just having, um, having electricity, having outlets there that you can always plug into. So the situation that we're trying to improve for these people who don't have uh, access to electricity is, um, I think the impact would be huge. And the people that we're really designing for are in the rural communities of Western Africa that they struggle with basic necessities like water and electricity and having a house to live in. Aya is the Ghanaian Asante tribe symbol for the fern, which is representative of being resourceful and going through hardship. So it was only natural that, that Aya be selected to, to represent the brand behind this project because it's, it's very similar to the people that we're designing for. Our original goal started out as a system of two power tools that would be developed to help improve the capability of building housing quickly and efficiently. And then through a, a process of interviewing faculty here at Arizona State and students who have lived and worked over on the western coast of Africa, we learned that there was a more pressing issue of access to electricity and therefore that sort of shifted to become the main focus of the project, but still incorporate the tools as we look to design a system rather than an individual product. I mean, that basically was a turning point in our design because it, it, uh, it opened our eyes to the bigger problem, which is needing a reliable energy source. Something that we learned from you know, our interviews and our research was that design does matter to people in developing countries. They, they do still care about the objects that they're going to be keeping in their home. So that made our job as designers even more meaningful because this system had to be functional, it had to be simple, and it had to be welcomed in the home of the user. How much value do you think it would add to lifestyle if you had the capability of having like a small affordable generator? It would make so much difference. This year, people experience about 12 hours of electricity a week. Okay. So that is how electricity has really gone down. Say we wanted to build a house. Would, it, would we be using hammers and screwdrivers, or do people have access to like old drills and whatnot? Not really much. The drills and the power tools are not really into use. The normal mason and the carpenters, they use the like, hand tools. It probably takes a rather long time to build a house then. Yeah, it takes. The average can will take about two years. It takes a long time. So regionally, there's there's bamboo there, right? Yeah. What what else like for like materials? Well, when it comes to wood and natural things, you don't have to worry about it. You just go into the bush, cut anything you want. And people are so much into using wood bamboo. Like they are into it. They the people know how to do it. So what one of our ideas is we'd like to take. AK-47s and basically disarm them and use the raw materials from them to produce these tools. Design at its root has, has always been about solving problems and improving people's lives. The system that we design not only gives people the tools that they would need to build almost any structure, but it gives them a small generator as well. And it's a widely known fact that having reliable energy just makes a society safer and more hospitable. And throughout this project it's been balancing empathy and delight because we're not only creating a system of products that has to function and serve a purpose in life, but it, it has, to be, has to be in a way fun to use and something that, that the user wants to interact with and it, it, brings, it brings a whole new meaning to their life and a whole new amount of joy to their life.